On this trip, we're headed to Peru. This was back in 2016, and we only stayed at Belmont Properties in Peru. Uh, it's funny making this video in 2020 and using the footage that I have from back then because there is a lot of movement and my equipment has improved over the years. It's really awesome to come back and relive these moments that we had in the magical, magical country of Peru. We started in Lima, which is a really cool young city. We went to Miraflores, which I really, really enjoyed. It has like a bohemian feel, but it's also very elegant and feels a little bit more homey. This first hotel that we stayed in, which was called the Miraflores, Park Hotel kind of gave me a Miami Vice vibe. When you went inside, it was definitely really stunning and beautiful, probably because it's a part of the Belmont properties. And this was the first one that we went to throughout the course of our travels. We only stayed in Belmont properties and all of them had their own unique, beautiful features. We really, really enjoyed them. Then we went to the Sacred Valley, which was just so incredible and mountainous. So I can't wait for you guys to see all of what the beautiful landscapes that Peru has to offer. Wow, that was an awesome video. Hello, little muffin. <laughs> Hello. Touch the water. If you, if you see clean water. And Now this second Belmont property, the Hotel Rio Sagrado, was so beautiful. I mean, it was like orange stucco, or I'm not sure what the color is, and everything was just so beautiful and stunning and well thought through. And it was that perfect mixture of indoor-outdoor that kind of reminds me of like Bali or what it would feel like to be in Bali, but with that Peruvian mix or that Peruvian vibe, and I just, this was a really special property. So the units that we were staying in all have their own balcony. And I mean, you guys, you step into the shower and literally the shower has an exposure to the sky. So I mean, you know what happened next. It was just so stunning. They had llamas outside that you can feed. Wait, Here we are watching some artisanal women get into their hand dyeing craft. Here's just a little bit of a snippet and we're going to get more into this in the next video.
I wish I captured more of this train ride that we had over to Machu Picchu. Um, it was again through the Belmont called the Hiram Kingdom. And we took this luxury train ride over to Machu Picchu. And it was so stunning. Of course, me being me, I'm filming the outside and just fully embracing the lovely landscapes of the route on our way there. And once we arrived, we stayed at the Belmont Sanctuary Lodge. Pretty crazy because that was the only, only hotel that's right at the bottom of Machu Picchu. So you have to travel up a hill, a very steep and long ride to get to Machu Picchu. But this was the only hotel, the Sanctuary Lodge, that's right there at the tip of the Machu Picchu entrance. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, Machu Picchu. One thing that particularly stood out to me with the Peruvian culture is this idea of Pachamama. And Pachamama is Mother Earth and an ode to all the beautiful things that the world and the nature has to offer us. Um, you could feel it everywhere, and it's more of a sacred understanding of the earth. My gosh, I fully embraced the idea of Pachamama and felt that. Now, Peru was an especially fantastic trip. I was right in the midst of my hand dyeing career, doing my own fashion brand. While we were in the Sacred Valley, I had coordinated a trip to see hand dyers in their village. And this was so special and definitely a highlight of my trip, not only because I was doing a lot of hand dyeing at that time, but also to see how it's done culturally in Peru in a small village. It was just really special. And they also cooked a meat lunch for us. It was so fantastic. The salsa stuff is pretty good. But the potato is extra good. Yeah? That was a really good Remember the restaurant Central? Part one of their dishes is just like this. At Central, they put the potatoes inside. They bring it to you on the plate. And these are native potatoes, organic. Right. See the shape? Mm -hmm. Right. So when I was telling you that they bring it to you. This is how they do it. The thing is that the, the, the chef at Central used to work in a stereo. So oh, really? The hotel that we stayed in on our last leg of the trip was the Belmont Palacio Narazina. And this hotel, I think, was probably my favorite. It was just so stunning with the minimal features. It was white stucco, but the brown awnings and the brown railings. And we had the nicest rooms, I mean, no doubt about it. It was overlooking the pool, and we had our own private patio to go into the pool. And it was just the best way to end the trip, I mean. It was so stunning.